Welcome again to Reflections. Uh, yesterday we started off with, it will come back to you. I said to us yesterday that um, whatever goes around comes around. Today, another of, uh, uh, in the same manner, in the same line is that um, whatsoever a man sows, that he will reap. God is not mocked. Um, and that should, uh, if we've been doing bad works, uh, we should be scared by that, that whatsoever a man souls, that is what he will reap. And some of us are actually in that situation right now. We are thinking to ourselves because of some of the things we are going through, we are thinking, is it because of this thing that I did, that thing that I did? And our heart is condemning us. We are looking back at those things and we are beginning to ask ourselves, am I being, am I, am I being paid for the bad things that I have done? I want to say to us that it's possible. Um, because again, whatsoever a man sows, he will reap. Whatever, was, uh, whatever goes around comes around and um, it will definitely come back. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Because if you have surrendered your life to Jesus, if you have given your life over to Jesus, if you have repented of that sin, or maybe you are repenting of that sin right now, you do not, it does not need to come around to you. You do not have to reap the evil that you sowed. I told you yesterday that I will have good news for those of you like that in that situation today. The good news is that Jesus Christ already paid that price. He already, and all you need to do is to tell the Lord, I'm sorry, I know I sinned, and ask for forgiveness, and God will forgive you. And if he has forgiven, and if you are born again, if you have repented of that sin and you have been forgiven, Please, whatever is going on now, don't think that it is God punishing you. No. It says that I have forgotten, I have cast it out into the sea of my forgetfulness. God does not, God does not play like that. He's not going to take that which you have given to him. Uh, the, he's not going to throw away your repentance and punish you if you have repented. And you have asked for mercy and you have put that sin on Jesus. He's not going to take it back from Jesus and now put, put it on you. Because Jesus has already paid the price and borne the punishment. So be at rest. The important thing is repent. Ask for forgiveness. And then the grace not to do those things anymore will come. And then now you begin to do the right things by Christ. You begin to live a life of righteousness. Once you ask God for forgiveness and your, your repentance is genuine, I want you to rest assured that there is no more condemnation for you. None, 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 none. It's not coming around to you. You've asked God for forgiveness. He's, for, he's forgiven. He's forgotten. And that's the end of the matter. Whatever a man sows, he will reap. So if you did sow sin, you sowed evil. Now you have sown repentance. You have sown contrition. You will reap a harvest of forgiveness from God. Please do not allow the devil to deceive you. Do not allow him to box you into a corner. Do not allow him to afflict you with guilt. He loves to do that. Just ask for forgiveness and God has forgiven you. And I want to speak specifically and directly to somebody. You are going through depression right now because you keep saying to yourself, it's because of the things that happened to you that you are going through what you are going through and that God cannot help you. My question is, are you sorry for the things that you did that were wrong? Have you confessed your sins to God? Have you told him you are sorry? Have you repented? Have you asked Jesus into your heart? 
Or if you were a Christian when you did them, have you genuinely repented now and said to the Lord, forgive me, I will never do those things again. And if you have, I pray for you right now. I break the power of that depression over your life. I speak against that spirit of depression that wants to take a foothold of you and say, no, no, you have no right over this one because they have repented. And I want to assure you that God has forgiven you and that from now on, as you begin to sow seeds of righteousness and truth, that the blessing of God, the harvest of blessing from God will start in your life. Snap out of that depression right now in the name of Jesus. Snap out of it. Don't let that lying devil pull you under with guilt. You've confessed. God has forgiven. God has forgotten. You do not need to suffer that guilt anymore. Arise. Shine. Your light has come. The heaviness of guilt is rolled away. And the blessing of God's truth and righteousness and goodness is on you. And it's for me, Obilano. It's reflections.